Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to use Octo Verify on new phone. Alright, so let's begin with the video. To use the Octo Verify app on new phone, the first thing you need to do is install it from your device's app store, either the Google Play Store for Android or the App Store for iPhone. Once installed, go ahead and open the app. You'll be taken to the welcome screen, which prompts you to start the setup process. This initial screen is straightforward and designed to guide new users in adding their accounts securely and efficiently. At this point, you'll want to add your account to begin using the app. You can do this by tapping on the Add Account button or the plus icon located in the top right corner of the screen. This will open a new menu where you will be asked what type of account you wish to add. Opta Verify supports multiple types of accounts. Your two main options here are an organization account which typically refers to work, school or business related access or an other account which includes personal accounts such as Facebook, Google or any other app that supports time-based one-time passwords. Let's say you're setting up an organization account which is the most common use case for Opta Verify especially in a work or school setting. After selecting this option, the app will give you a few different ways to proceed. You may be asked to scan a QR code that is displayed on another device such as your desktop or laptop. This code is usually generated during the setup process when you're logged into your organization's portal. If you don't have access to a QR code, you can also choose to skip the QR method and proceed to sign in manually. In some cases, instead of scanning a QR code, you can tap the sign in instead link at the bottom of the screen. This will prompt you to enter your organization's sign in URL. The sign in URL is a web address that typically looks like companyname.octa.com or something similar. If you're unsure what your sign in URL is, you can tap on the blue text that offers instructions on how to locate this URL usually provided by your department or available in a welcome email from your organization. Once you enter the correct sign in URL, you'll be redirected to your organization's secure login page where you can enter your credentials such as your work email and password. Upon successful sign-in, the app will automatically pair your device with your Okta account and begin generating verification codes or allow for push notifications depending on your organization's settings. Now, let's explore the other route if you want to add a personal account like Facebook, Google, Instagram or any app that supports two-step verification. In this case, you'll go back to the main account selection page and choose Other instead of Organization Account. Once you tap on that, the app will once again offer you the choice to scan a QR code or enter a key manually. This setup is very similar to other Authenticator apps such as Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. If you select the manual entry method, Opto Verify will ask you to enter the account name for example, Facebook John Doe or Gmail Work Email and then enter the key. This key is a unique code provided by the service you're enabling two-factor authentication for. It's important to note that this key is not your account password, but a string of characters that connects the Authenticator app to your specific account. Once you've input the account name and key, Okta Verify will begin generating time-based codes that refresh every 30 seconds. Once you've successfully added your account, whether it's for an organization or a personal service, you'll now be protected by an additional layer of security. Anytime you attempt to log into the associated service, you will either be prompted to enter the time-sensitive code displayed in Okta Verify, or you'll receive a push notification asking you to approve the login attempt. This drastically reduces the risk of unauthorized access as someone would need access to both your password and your physical phone. If you ever want to explore more settings within the Okta Verify app, you can access them easily. Tap the three dot menu icon in the top right corner of the app and select settings. While the settings menu in Okta Verify is relatively simple and minimal, it still gives you control over things like biometric authentication, app theme, and even removing accounts if needed. You may also find options to enable features such as face ID or fingerprint unlocking for added convenience and security. Keep in mind that Okta Verify works best when kept up to date 
so be sure to enable automatic updates or check periodically for updates through your app store. If you ever change your phone, reset your device or uninstall the app, you'll need to repeat this setup process so it's wise to have backup options enabled through your Okta account or notify your admin before switching devices. So that's basically how you can use Okta Verify on new phone. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.